episode of Science in Slow Motion. Today we will be demonstrating Newton's third law of motion. For every reaction, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And gravity, the amount of force on an object. Let's explain Newton's third law a little bit. Okay. You see those dominoes falling? When one falls, it causes the next to fall. This continues to happen until all the dominoes are down. This demonstrates Newton's third law. Here's an example that most of us know, Newton's cradle. Here's the third law in action because one ball hits the train of balls. The momentum transfers through the train of the last ball. That ball gets hit and it reacts by starting the cycle again. In this last video, we ran at each other with yoga balls. This is an excellent example because when Hayden and Maddie ran at each other, they were pushing on the ball, the action, and the ball was pushing back on them, the reaction. So Chloe, do you remember the summer when everybody was doing the ice bucket challenge? Yeah, why? Because it's a great example of gravity. Hmm, I never really thought about that. Yeah, see when the person lifts the bucket over another person's head, the force that is making the water fall towards earth is gravity. Oh, I see. So when we jump off objects, is that gravity? Exactly. When you're jumping off a swing, playground, or another object, once you jump off, gravity takes, you, takes over and takes you to the ground. Okay, okay, I get it. So when we drop this little water droplet into the cup of water, the force that's pulling the water droplet down is gravity? That's awesome! Right? Or when we pop the water balloon over your head. You guys are lucky I'm a nice guy, because that was freezing. Now here's a pop quiz question for you. Okay. What is the rate at which objects accelerate towards Earth? 8.9 meters per second squared, 9.8 meters per second squared, or 6.9 meters per second squared? I'm going to have to say 9.8 meters per second squared. That's right. All objects, regardless of their mass, will accelerate at the same rate of 9.8 meters per second squared towards the Earth. Thanks for watching this episode of Science in Slow Motion. Catch you next time.